Hi, my name's Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. You're my library, always open for business, but you never show it. You're just sitting with it, but I know the score, and you're killing it. So today I am bringing you a giant cumulative book haul. This is literally, these are all books that I have gotten since like the summer. I got this first one, I ordered it from Amazon because I'm dramaturging the musical Gypsy this coming semester and I needed to read the memoir so I got Gypsy Memoirs of America's Most Celebrated Stripper by Gypsy Rose Lee herself and I have already read this and it's amazing. I think the most impressive thing about it is that she actually wrote this. She didn't ghostwrite it and I actually found out she's also written like a mystery series which I was like what? Like, she's such an interesting woman, and it's so cool to read her story. And if you haven't seen or heard of the musical Gypsy, it's like a classic. So yeah, this is an extremely well-written memoir. So if you're interested in her life, if you don't know, she was a burlesque dancer in the 1930s. And this is kind of her journey through uh, vaudeville with her sister and her mom all the way up through her burlesque career. And it's really, really excellent. Next, I picked up a book from Target because I've been hearing a buzz about this and I wanted to read it and then possibly gift it to someone. <laughs> and that is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. And this is a YA contemporary romance about a young Muslim girl who wears a hijab right after 9-11. So I think it takes place in 2002 specifically. And it, it addresses all of like the violent racism that like she receives from outside do you see the racism pretty blatantly and I think like the representation in this book is fantastic. Um, I have already read it and my like general thoughts on it you'll see in a wrap up but it's like my the one thing I'll say is like if you really hate YA romance this is kind of a typical ro YA romance just with better representation but if you want to hear more of my thoughts look for an upcoming wrap up. Now we're gonna move on to books that I got at Books A Million. I love Books A Million because they have a fantastic clearance section. Like I feel like at Barnes & Noble the clearance section is all books that you've never heard of. They're like obscure books in the middle of like really long detective series. They don't have any popular books on clearance ever, which like I understand, but like still. Anywho, so I love the clearance section of Books A Million. And I went a little while ago because I, I realized I didn't have like any holiday books and I wanted to like really get into the holiday spirit with like reading because of what I read affects like the headspace that I'm in, you know? So I got some holiday books. The first one I picked up was Holidays on Ice by David Sedaris and this is a short, uh, short story collection. Oh wait, is it essays or short stories? I'm pretty sure it's short, short stories. I've heard good things about this, know nothing about it. Then I picked up The Twelve Dogs of Christmas by David Rosenfeld, and this is actually part of his Andy Carpenter series, which is like a mystery series about a detective who like has, a, who works with his dog. And I actually really liked that, fir that first book that I read of the series. I can't remember which one it was, but it's like surprisingly good. So I was like, oh, a Christmas one. Like this will be nice. Like mix it up with like some short stories, mystery, you know. Then I got Hope at Christmas by Nancy Nagel. And this is a romance as far as I can tell. It seems like it's going to be like freely and light and lacking in depth which will be fine for me so again like we've got the romance we got the short stories we got the mystery it's all a package then i got some other books at books a million as well the first of which is we are not ourselves by matthew thomas and i have heard really good things about this it's one of those like floppy paperbacks which just like I love a floppy paperback. From what I understand this is about a young couple moving to Brooklyn in like the 1950s and that's really all I know about it but I've heard that it's wonderful. Then I got The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith and this is a YA novel about a girl who is raped by her brother's friend and then has to 
move forward after that. And this is based, this is about like her living through high school after the fact. That's all I know about it. I'm curious. I love a dark YA. <laughs> And then, I'm really excited about this one, I found Scythe by Neil Shusterman, uh, which I have heard incredible things about, and I'm really, really excited to read this. It's been recommended to me by, like, friends in my real life as well. I think this will be a really fun, like, January-February read, because it's, like, YA, and it's a dystopian, like, fantasy kind of thing, but it's not too dark. It'll be good. If you don't know what Scythe is about, it's basically about a world in which humans no longer die naturally, so are the, there are these beings called Scythes who, who are responsible for killing parts of the population to keep the population under control. Then I made a thrift books order because I had earned a free book through thrift books, which you, like, you amass points and you get a free book, which is awesome. And my free book was going to expire, so I made an order. <laughs> and I got four books. First I got A Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin, and I got this because I'm reading my way through the A Song of Ice and Fire series, and right now I'm reading A Clash of Kings and loving it, so very excited to move on to the next one. Then I got The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. I have heard incredible things about this book. I love that it's really tiny and short. Basically, this is the story of a Latina girl growing up in Chicago, and beyond that, don't really know what it's about, but I've heard that it's amazing. Then I got The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan, and this is a classic that I have never read that I think would be right up my alley. This is one of those books that a lot of people read in school, but I did not read in school, so I'm really curious to get to it. This is about four Chinese women who are recent Im immigrants to San Francisco in 1949, and they start a club, and they basically come together united by like their shared losses, and they call themselves the Joy Luck Club and I just think it's going to warm my soul to the bone. Then I got The Color Purple by Alice Walker. This is another classic that I haven't read. Like, I know the story of this, but I've never actually read the book, so I think that it would be a great thing for me to read. And the musical of this is just beautiful, so like, obviously I have to partake. Basically this is the story of two African-American sisters and one is like a missionary in Africa and the other is a child wife in the United States living in the South. It's basically the story of their relationship, kind of. And the last set of books that I'm going to show you were kindly given to me by my roommate's mom. She's read these before and now she's like passing them along to me, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to go through them kind of quickly because a lot of these I know nothing about. First one I do know something about though, it's Octavia Butler's The Parable of the Sower. I am so excited about this book. I've heard incredible things and it just seems so interesting. All I know about this is that it's like a dystopian book about uh, like the environment is neglected and then essentially society falls into chaos and then like something bad happens and this girl who, this young minister's daughter loses her family and home and ventures out into the unprotected American landscape. And that's all I know about it, but I've heard that it's amazing. I've been told this is like some people's all-time favorite book. I'm super excited. Very, very grateful to get my hands on this one. And then she also sent me the second book in the series, The Parable of the Talents, which, you know, same deal as the last one. Then she sent me Ghostlight, a memoir by Frank Rich. And I don't know anything about this, but I know I have learned by reading the back that it is a memoir about one man's like magic journey with theater and how theater like changed his life. And that is very exciting to me. And I love the cover. It's just a theater with a ghost light in the middle and it's like black and white and so pretty. And then she sent me The Nakamo Thrift Shop by Hiromi Kawakami. And I don't know anything about this. I'm assuming it's a, about a thrift shop. I do know that this is translated from Japanese because uh, Hiromi Kawakami also wrote The Briefcase, which I have read before. It's up there on my shelf. And I really enjoyed it, so I'm curious about this as well. Then she sent me The Last Report on the Miracles at Little No Horse by Louise Erdrich. 
And the only thing I really know about this is that it is a Native American story and I believe that it is about a transgender woman who hasn't come out as transgender. So lots of representation. That's all. I don't know anything about this, but there we go. Then she sent me The Invention of Nature, Alexander von Humboldt's New World by Andrea Wolf. And this is a nonfiction about Alexander von Humboldt, who was the most famous scientist of his age. He was a German naturalist and polymath whose discoveries forever changed the way we understand the natural world. So basically it's like a biography of his life and it was one of the New York Times 10 best books of the year which is exciting. I have actually heard of this before like when she first gave it to me I was like I've never heard of this but now like come to think of it I have heard people talk about this as a really spectacularly good biography and I have not read a lot of like science books so seems cool. Then I'm really excited about this one. She sent me Tropic of Orange by Karen Tai Yamashita and this book is basically about oh boy I don't even know how to explain it. Um, it's got some magical realism meets film noir meets hip-hop and chicanismo and it's in LA there's gangsters there's uh, black market people there are news reporters it's like reading the back I don't even like know what it's about it's just like a lot but there's an orange involved anyways I am excited for this because it seems really really weird and interesting then she gave me another book that was already on my list which is Commonwealth by Ann Patchett I love this cover basically all I know about this really is that it's a family drama but this was really really popular like two years ago and people were very very excited about it so now I am very excited about it then there are more I got a couple books from Goodwill um, Goodwill is one of my favorite places to shop for books especially on the first Saturday of the month because then all paperbacks are 50 cents which is amazing first I got a great and terrible beauty by Libba Bray this I don't know a lot about I know Libba Bray wrote the diviners which I liked but didn't love I just felt it was like way too long and I wasn't that invested but this is like much shorter so I'm wondering if that problem will have disappeared this is about a girl named Gemma who has visions um it's fantasy it's supposed to be spooky uh that's really all I know about it but I've heard really good reviews and Books and Lala really likes this book and like what can I say I'm heavily influenced by what Books and Lala thinks of books it's just the truth then I'm very excited about this I found The Princess Bride by William Goldman I love the movie it's just a classic and I've heard from a friend of mine that the book is her favorite book of all time so I'm really excited to read this I think this will be a really fun one to kind of fall into because I already know like the world and so it'll be really interesting to read that world and like get lost in it because it'll be familiar like revisiting an old friend even though I've never read it before so then I was sent three books by Wunderkind PR which thank you very much I really appreciate it I have actually already started one of these but I'm gonna say Save that one for last. So the first one that they sent me was An Easy Death by Charlene Harris and I don't know a lot about this. I really don't know that it seems super up my alley. It's a fantasy. It's like it's like a southern fantasy. It takes place in a fractured United States in a west in a southwestern county now known as Texoma where magic is acknowledged but mistrusted. So that's really all I know about it. It does excite me that there's a female main character, but to be perfectly honest, this book isn't like particularly something that I'm super, super interested in, but this might be something my sister would really like. I don't know. I do plan to start reading it. Like all the books that I get sent, I will read at least the first chapter just to make sure like because I want to give them all a chance but if it's really not my style then I'll give it to my sister and I'll see what she thinks. This next one is a little bit more on my alley. Um, it's Mage Against the Machine which is pitched as Harry Potter meets the Terminator which definitely intrigues me and this is fantasy but it's a little more like dystopian science fiction which is a little more my thing so although the cover is definitely not my favorite I have slightly higher hopes for this one 
Then this next one I'm very excited about and have already started reading, and it is Stronger, Faster, and More Beautiful by Arwen Ellis Dayton, and this comes out in December, specifically December 4th. This is a YA speculative fiction, uh, like science fiction, about basically a world in which humans are a little more genetically modified and like they have more um, like robotic parts put into them, I think. Let's see, I'll read you the, the future is curious, stronger. Today our bodies define us. We color our hair, tattoo our skin, pierce our ears, brows, noses. We lift weights, run miles, break records. We are flesh and blood and bone. Faster. Tomorrow has different rules. The future is no longer about who we are. It's about who we want to be. If you can dream it, you can be it. Science will make us smarter, healthier, flawless in every way. Our future is boundless. More beautiful. This is a story that begins tomorrow. It's a story about us. It's a story about who comes after us. And it's a story about perfection because perfection has a way of getting ugly. And I really like that last line. And that last line to me just seems like so like YA, you know? I'm really excited. So far, I'm like 30 pages into this and I'm really enjoying it. We'll see how the rest of it goes. That was a long book haul. Thank you for sticking with me through it all. I hope that you enjoyed watching that. Um, if there are any of these books that you are particularly excited about hearing my thoughts on, let me know down below in the comments. I will bump them up on my TBR just for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Now I was headed to the